Okay, so let's uh, take the second example here. Um, 1 over 4 minus x squared, uh, the square root of that, and let's find some extreme values for that. So again, what we need to do is, and we're not given an interval on this, so what we're going to do is we're going to find the derivative of this guy. I'm just going to start real quick with a quick rewrite of what this problem looks like because I, I don't want to take a derivative the way it's given to me. So I will, I'm going to go ahead and say that this is... 4 minus x squared to the negative 1 half. And so the derivative of that is going to be 4 minus x squared to the negative 3 halves times the derivative on the inside. So here's chain rule right here. So we have to multiply by that guy right there, and that's going to give us negative 2x. So my actual function then is going to be negative 2x over um, 4 minus x squared cubed square rooted. Okay, so this is the actual problem that I'm going to deal with. Now, I need to do two things. I need to set the top equal to zero. That gives me my zero. So when x equals 0, that's a uh, critical point, okay? The other point that I need to check is where this 4 minus x squared cubed equals 0 because that also will give me a critical point. So i got to take um, this guy down here and I need to find where that is equal to 0 because that's going to give us undefined. So if you take the cube root of both sides, then you're going to have 4 minus x squared equals 0. So negative x squared equals negative 4. So x is going to be plus or minus 2. Okay, those, gives, those give me zeros. All right, so now what, I have, what do I do? Well, <clears throat> I take those values I just discovered, x equals 0, and x equals plus or minus 2, and I check these and look for max or min values. So I'm going to do f of 0, I'm going to do f of negative 2, and I'm going to do f of positive 2. Now here's the deal. If you're paying attention, we're actually not going to have to check negative 2 or positive 2 because I can't actually include them as endpoints in my original function. If you'll notice right here, if I do 4 minus 4, that's a 0, I'm undefined at that point. So I can't include that particular endpoint as a possible max or min because this is only going to be on the open interval from negative 2 to 2. All right, We just discovered that. And since I can't have 0 in the denominator, then whatever I get for these guys is going to also be undefined. They're undefined. Okay, That means that all I need to do is check that top guy out. So Wherever that top guy goes, that's what I want. And so I'm going to have 1 over the square root of 4 minus 0 squared. And that's going to give me 1 over 4, square root of 4, which is 1 half. So what is this going to be? This is actually going to be my minimum value. Okay, And that occurs when x equals 0. So this last example, it's a little tricky, but... Um, you know, all it is is take derivative, set top equal to zero, set bottom equal to zero, and you're off and running.